This morning I am on a road trip to go pick up something to help us clear our land. And if you want to see what that is, stay tuned. I don't know if you can see me or not, but it's about uh, 4, 15 in the morning. And we are headed on about a five and a half hour drive to go pick up a tool that we're going to use to clear our land with. Uh, I could get a better deal up there, so we're going to Wisconsin. And it is, believe it or not, snowing. Sh April showers of snow instead of April showers of rain. But it's not snowing very much. And I think the weather is supposed to clear up here pretty soon. So come along for the ride. I'm on this adventure on my own. Well, not exactly on my own. I got my dog Nelly back here in the back seat. And uh, the weather is way nicer now than it was when we left the house. It's still kind of chilly. It's like 32 degrees, but the sun's coming up. We got clear sky. And we're fixing to go get us a snack when we find the next place we can buy a snack. We are stopping to buy a snack. Got like a number two meal with a large Dr. Pepper. And that's it. Six Lenny, thank you for coming. Thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay, thank you. Six there's six, six, there's twenty. All right, thank, thank you. you. So much. Have a great day. You too, thanks. Thank Off we go, Nelly. Are you back there? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. About two more hours will be where we're going. Oh, I see our destination up on the right. We finally made it. here we have made it to our destination it's Mueller implement and we are here to pick up a brush and field more so we can take care of our property Let's see what we can find out okay so I just left the Mueller uh, implement place it's in Dodgeville Wisconsin super nice people I'd recommend them to anybody if they're up in this area and need something like what I just got um, so I will show you more about it when I get home um, right now myself and Nellie are looking for some place to take a little break get a drink and let her get a drink and some, eat some food so we will talk to you later over and out Hey guys, we stopped for fuel, and it's a uh, pretty pathetic when you think what you're paying for fuel is cheap. And I'll show you what I think cheap is. Okay, I saw a sign for the world's largest culvers. So we are going to, I keep saying we, I keep thinking Tammy's with me. I'm going to drive over and check it out see how big this culvers actually is it doesn't look super humongous but from here but it's probably a lot more humongous than a regular culvers 
So we'll show a little video of it when we get up there. My wife is gonna be jealous. I just went through the drive up at the world's largest Culver's and I've got a picture to prove it. And I'm now eating a butter burger and fries and she loves Culver's. So eat your heart out, Tammy. <laughs> okay, as proof, you look behind me, that is the world's largest Culver's. It's in Wisconsin off of I-39 and it was delicious and we are getting ready to hit the road. Ah, we're finally home. Thank goodness that is a long drive. We've been up since four o'clock this morning. It is now about four o'clock in the afternoon. It's about a five hour drive to where we went. Some of you might be asking, why in the world would you drive that far to get this more? And uh, there was a couple of things. One of the things was availability. Uh, you know how things are right now. They're, uh, you can't get things a lot of places. Uh, and this place that we went to um, just happened to have some of them. Uh, the other thing was price. Uh, around here, um, these moors were a lot more expensive than they were where I went. I think the dealer I went to sells several of them, so they have better pricing. I saved, before paying for gas, I figure I saved around $550. Uh, so probably $400 savings in uh, driving up there and back. So... Those are the two main reasons why we did that. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave messages. Uh, we'll respond to your messages. And once again, have fun camping. We'll talk to you later. Bye. <music>